And Governor DeSantis is expanding the state of emergency as our local leaders mobilize their response teams ahead of Tropical Storm Idalia. Thanks so much for joining us here at noon. I'm Sheldon Dutez. I'm Nancy Alvarez. Idalia is expected to develop into a major hurricane and make landfall in the Panhandle. And parts of Central Florida are already under a hurricane watch. FEMA just announced that federal disaster assistance has been made available to help with local response efforts. Watch 2 News is your home for the hurricane season, and that's why we have our team of reporters and first warning meteorologists following every aspect of this storm from Idalia's path to the preparations underway right now. All right, we're going to check in with everyone in just a little bit, but we do want to check in first with Eric Burris and Kellyanne. They have been tracking this storm all weekend long. And Eric, what's the latest? Well, so right now we've got a developing tropical storm. Let's put uh, WSI one behind me here so I can show you the satellite imagery. Winds are at 65 miles an hour. Convection continuing to show kind of an organization. What's happening this morning is the storm system is just kind of trying to wrap around a center and thus will be allowed to start to develop. Winds haven't moved from the 5 a.m. advisory. Pressure has been holding fairly steady, though hurricane hunters did find little bursts of higher wind and lower pressure. So at this moment in time, it's not rapidly intensifying, which is certainly good news. But over the course of the day today, the official forecast from the National Hurricane Center is that Adalia becomes a hurricane. And by tomorrow afternoon and evening, a category two hurricane and then right up to landfall will develop a major category three hurricane anywhere from just north of Tampa Bay all the way up toward and very near Tallahassee winds of about 115 miles an hour. That's 8 a.m. in this spot here. So this is going to be passing by in the morning on Wednesday. With this advisory, we now have upgraded, okay, Sumter County and the Nature Coast. And highlighted in red, those are hurricane warnings, Lake County, Polk County, tropical storm warnings, and the rest of Central Florida under tropical storm watches. So what does that mean? A watch means that we need to be starting to work on those action plans. Those conditions are possible within 48 hours. A warning means we need to be working those preps to completion. So again, if you live in Sumter County or out west, we need to be working those plans to completion this evening. Hurricane conditions are expected. That said, though, how does this play out in terms of timeline? Here's meteorologist Kellyanne with more. So what we're looking at, at least for today, is you want to make sure that you top off your hurricane kit, uh, head to the grocery stores, make sure you have non-perishable food, even water in case you do lose power, especially for our northwestern locations where they will take the brunt of this storm. Tomorrow morning, finish your preparations. And then by tomorrow afternoon, as the storm approaches, we'll start to get more squally weather. Wednesday morning, that storm will arrive. That's we'll be tracking the brunt of the storm as well. Out the door right now, if you're finishing those preps, things are looking good. Now we are tracking some coastal showers. Most of this is Orlando and east. Some heavier rainfall and a couple of thunderstorms out into southern Brevard County, working into northeastern Osceola County. A couple of showers around Bithlow, working into Seminole County, and some showers and thunderstorms for Flagler County. Our rain is going to increase this afternoon, but it's those typical sea breeze showers and thunderstorms. So nothing quite to be concerned of yet, but going into tomorrow, that's where things changes. Coming up in a few minutes, we'll talk about everything you need to know about Adalia and, of course, your local forecast.